Hey, Ben, are you are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just thinking about this amazing pizza that I had once. Oh, okay. Do you need like a minute or a tissue? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm moving on. Okay. Just having a cry. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here with special guest Ben Bolin from Brain Stuff. Thanks for coming to visit us on D News, Ben. Hey, thanks for having me, Lacey. Of course. Are you feeling better after that cry? You know, I... of course you are, because tears are actually kind of awesome. There are different types of tears, and they each have an important purpose. For instance, tears of sadness contain hormones like prolactin and leucine kefalin, which is a natural painkiller. So you're letting all your pain free in your tears. How amazing is that? Thanks. Oh. Eyeballs or evolution or something. And you know, crying is good for your eyeballs too. Basal tears are what's always in your eye. They're made of that fluid that keeps our eyes from drying out. These tears contain antibacterial agents like lactoferrin and lysozyme, and a good weeping session can detoxify your peepers and protect them from infections. Oh yeah, thank you basal tears. <laughs> in a similar vein, tears can improve your vision by removing irritants. Reflex tears like the ones you get from cutting onions right. can cleanse toxins from your eyeballs while also lubricating them. And this makes it way easier to get that speck of dust out of your eye, which is pretty handy sometimes, right? Yeah, but it's not as handy as the social benefits of crying. Boom. Crime parties, right guys? Double boom. Let's start that because crying brings people closer together. Researchers at Tel Aviv University found that crying is a highly evolved behavior that uh, reliably signals need, social attachment, and more. It can elicit sympathy from strangers and, and mercy from your enemies. Which is why I cry almost constantly. Reason we weep can really vary too. Maybe you're really stressed out. Maybe you're going through a hard breakup. Maybe you can't conquer level 53 on Candy Crush. Hey, don't give up, Lacey. I believe in you. I appreciate that, Ben. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's kind of a thing I'm going through right yeah. now, so. Now, both female and male children tend to cry at about the same rate until, that is, they hit adolescence, because that's when everything goes to hell, isn't it? It certainly does, uh, especially for the guys in this case, because men cry less and for a shorter amount of time. Which means that dudes are missing out on the awesome tear fest. Yeah, so I guess what we're saying is pretty clear. Uh, go ahead and cry your heart out. You're going to feel better. Yeah, you'll totally feel better. You know, unless you're like a sociopath. Or like a robot human with no feelings. Yeah, which is basically the same thing. That's true, touche. Thanks for joining us, folks. Are you a fan of crying? Tell us about it down below or on Twitter at DNews, and we'll see you next time with more science updates.